Oh! The Jell-O program. Phil Harris and his orchestra open the program with Song of the Marines from the picture The Singing Marine. <laughs> After week, I've been saying to you good people, get genuine Jello. Accept no substitute. Look for the big red letters on the box. Well, there's a good reason for this, and I'll tell you just why it is so important. Those big red letters spell Jello, and the name Jello is a trademark, the property of General Foods. So when you see the name Jello on the package, you know you are getting the genuine article made by General Foods. There is only one Jello. If you hear any other flavored gelatin dessert referred to as Jell-O, you will know that this is incorrect. The way to be sure that you are getting Jell-O's extra rich fruit flavor is to insist on the real thing. And the trademark Jell-O is your guarantee that you are getting genuine Jell-O. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Don Wilson speaking. I'd like nothing better than to introduce Jack Benny at this point for a half hour of fun. But I am indeed sorry to have to tell you that Jack is confined to a bed with a severe case of flu and will not be able to appear tonight. Mary won't let anyone else act as nurse, so she's giving him expert care, and we expect to have him back with us next week as hale and hearty as ever. So Phil Harris, Kenny Baker, and I will try to carry on with the assistance of Trudy Wood who very graciously offered to work with us in Jack's absence. So uh, now let's get on with the show. Are you ready, Phil? I'm always ready and no cracks. Mm, I see. Hello, Don. Well, hello, Kitty. I don't want to say hello again, and I don't know anything else to say, so maybe I better sing. Well, have you a good song to pep Jack up? Pep Jack up? Well, what's the matter with him? Why, he has a bad attack of the flu, and he's home in bed. Oh, I'm awfully sorry. Well, we all are, Kenny, but what's the name of the song you're going to sing? You Are My Love. I wrote it all by myself with somebody else. Hmm. <laughs> well, what are the names of the people who wrote it? Kenny Baker and Don Honrath. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Kenny Baker singing the song that he wrote with Don Honrath. <laughs> Happiness is so divine, dear. It is your love. <laughs> Loving you is my desire. Holding you fills me with fire. Such a dear armful, loving you couldn't be harmful. Here we are, your heart to my heart, it's part of me, you are my love. Sweetheart, this evening's complete.
Jenny, really, that was really swell. You think Jack liked it? I'm sure he did. I'll bet he's just itching to get back here on the program right now. Here's where I play my next tune, Don. Hey, you're pretty sure about that, Phil, aren't you? How do you know? Well, if I don't, you'll have to do a lot of ad-libbing. <laughs> All right, Phil, you win. What's, uh, what's it going to be? Because my baby says it's so. I see. That's another medley for our melody, rather, from the singing Marine, isn't it? All right. Phil, thank you. Oh, hello, Trudy. Hello, Don. Hey, Don, that girl looks exactly like Trudy Wood. Well, it is. Oh. <laughs> well, Trudy, I want to thank you for coming over here tonight. It's, it's really mighty fine of you. It's a pleasure, Don, and I hope Jack Benny is back with you again next week. We all join you on that, Trudy, and uh, we're sure that he will be. What are you going to sing for us tonight? Never in a million years. Oh, from the picture Wake Up and Live, Miss Trudy Wood. <laughs> Like you appear 
Oh, that was splendid, Trudy. Really, it was. And very swell. Thank you very much. Say, Don, I always wanted to be an announcer. May I announce the next tune? No, Kenny, no. Oh, all right for you. Oh, <laughs> I see. You're going to pout about it, are you? Well, if that's the way you feel, go right ahead. You announce this next number. Thanks. Say, what, what's the name of it, Don? Phil Harris playing a brand new tune on the Isle of Kitchimacoco. Play, Phil. Oh, boy, can I announce. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. What? Jack? What do you mean, Jack? My name's Wilson. <laughs> I have to give Jack <laughs> oh, a hug someplace. I see. <laughs> well, what have you for us now, Phil? <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm going to wait till you kids make up. <laughs> right ahead, Phil. Okay. <laughs> I got an orchestra number dedicated to Jack Benny when he starts ribbing me. Well, what is it, Phil? <laughs> that foolish feeling. <laughs> well, swell, and I hope you feel just that way when Jack comes back next week. <laughs>
was Phil Harris feeling foolish on one of the nicest cases of embarrassment that I've ever heard. Though. Thanks, Don, for that broken down <laughs> Com- compliment. <laughs> All right, you can go over there now. I'll introduce you again. Ladies and gentlemen, we now present the piece de resistance for Phil Harris, Phil Harris's family, his wife, and all his friends who wired to listen in. Phil himself, not an imitation, singing Nobody. When skies seem full of clouds with rain And I'm all filled with naught but pain Who soothes my thumping, thumping brain? Nobody. Then when that winter comes with all that snow and sleep, yeah, I am all hungry and I got cold feet. Who says, why don't you come on in here, bud? Can't you see we're fixing to eat? Nobody. I ain't never done nothing. I ain't never done a solitary thing to nobody, as far as I know. And I know very well that I ain't never got myself nothing from nobody at uh, no time. So until I gets myself something from somebody at some time, I ain't gonna do nothing. For nobody at the no time. Now when summer comes so cool and clear, and my friends sort of see me edging there, who says, why don't you break down and come on in here? Can't you see we fixing to have a beer? Nobody. And then when I try so awful hard and I schemes and plans to keep going around looking just as sharp as I can, who says, oh, have a look, have a look, look at that handsome man. Not a single soul. (laughs) Then when all day long things kind of go amiss, you all know how they do. And I go on out home expecting to find a little bliss who trips up to me lightly and plants upon my cheek a glowing kiss? Uh Uh-uh. You know, folks, I had a stake. I mean, a pretty. Then some time ago, I took that sauce bottle and worked out on it pretty good. But, oh, who says you better look out what you're doing, boy, because that sauce is Tabasco. Mm, Nobody. Can't understand it, I ain't done nothing. Can you hear me? I ain't molested or irrigated around with no one. That's right. And you know yourself, folks, that there ain't nobody in the habit of coming up and giving you anything nowadays, kind of offhand like, is it? Well, until I get myself something from somebody at some time, hear ye, hear ye. I ain't gonna do nothing for nobody at uh, no time. Because I believe in that old saying, let us do unto the others as we would have the others do unto us. Yeah. Land that show was something. <laughs> Where'd you get the knowledge? Hey, Kenny, you know, I'm supposed to say that. I know, but I did so well on my other announcements. Well, gotta... if you're going to announce and Phil Harris sings, then I'm going to pep Jack Benny up by singing myself. Ladies and gentlemen, I will now sing... Phil Harris and his orchestra playing Southern Hospitality song is still saying it's sick to turn off the moon, period. <laughs> oh, God. Nice going, Kenny. You saved Jack from a relapse. <laughs>
Thanks, Phil. You seem sore about it, should Phil have said. Well, gee whiz, I, I don't know why. I can't sing. I bet the singing teacher could tell you. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, Don. Don't you guys fight. What do you feel so badly about? Well, if Don feels so bad, maybe I better announce the next number. Oh, no, you won't. No, you won't, Kenny. I may not be able to sing on this program, but I'm still the announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, Kenny Baker will now sing, as only he can, one of the most charming and popular songs of the season, September in the Rain. Gee, what an announcement. I bet this is going to be good. <laughs> of people say that one of the nicest things about a dinner is the last course, and that's certainly true when you serve this grand dessert. Ice cream, real rich ice cream made with jello ice cream powder. It's the quick, modern, easy way to make delicious ice cream, and you make it right in the freezing trays of your refrigerator. Though, if you prefer, you can get the same grand results by using an ordinary hand freezer. And women all over the country are delighted with jello ice cream powder. Just listen to what Mrs. N.J. McDonald of St. Joseph, Missouri has to say. Jello ice cream powder produces the finest ice cream our family has ever tasted. It's so easy to make, and when company comes in, we are always prepared with a delicious dessert. I just want to thank you for this splendid product. Well, that's a mighty fine letter, and we appreciate it and all the others that are coming in. And you'll feel the same way about Jello ice cream powder, too, when you taste the delicious ice cream it makes. Ice cream makes and less cost. So order Joser tomorrow. <laughs> this is the last number of the 34th program of the current Jell-O series, and the cast joins me wholeheartedly in wishing Jack Benny a very speedy and complete recovery so that next week he and Mary Livingston will be back here as well and jolly as ever to say to you, good night, folks. K-E-L-L. <laughs> this is the Red Network of the National Broadcasting Company. The Voice of Hollywood. <laughs>